Well, my name is Abdi Mohammed. My introduction to SPNN was actually the winter of like 08, my freshman year of high school. This is when SPNN was downtown St. Paul on Jackson Street in the Skyway and they had the studio there set up and we created like a little spy thriller for YouTube. I don't know where it ended up going, but it was this fun project that we did and I got to be a part of a docu, which is a really great program back in 2018 with a cohort of other great folks to learn about documentary filmmaking on a small scale, but you know, kind of on a, on a quick pace as well. So we really learned a lot. My name is Palov Kumar. I feel like a huge motivator for me to keep working on this film is, is just having these bi-monthly check-in sessions. It's, it feels like this kind of external thing just keeping me accountable and a lot of the time, especially on a project like this, where I know it's gonna be like tough to talk about and tough to like do some of these interviews, just knowing that someone else is gonna ask about it is like a big motivator for me. <laughs> and then it's also just awesome to see what everyone else is doing and just to hear about like some of the other fellows who have worked on sets a lot or worked in bigger productions, just hearing about, you know, what that world is like. It's just awesome to hear what other people's experiences are. My name is Kelly Huang. The title of my documentary film is My Borrowed Name. It's a story about my dad and my uncle's immigration story from Laos and how they immigrated with a Lao last name. And then once they became nationalized citizens, they changed it back to Huang. So they came to America on a last name that wasn't theirs. They borrowed it from a family friend so that they can come to America because Laos was not immigrating people who didn't have Lao names. So really that's where the heart of the film is about. It's about reclaiming your name, reclaiming your identity and how your name is connected to who you are. I really just want to explore just more personal projects. Like a lot of the, the filmmaking work I do is more freelance, like corporate weddings, all that stuff. Um, so this has been a really nice change in that I I feel like it's the first time outside of like a, a class that I've been able to work on like a personal project and get feedback on it and just have that be a, a focus. So I really want to kind of develop my own artistic practice as a filmmaker. I would love for my community to be highlighted in this project. What I hope to do is showcase it to them and really, you know, make try to find real motivating changes. Because in my view, filmmaking, especially documentary filmmaking, is something that sparks a conversation, sparks action. And what I hope to do is just, you know, try to get this in front of as many people, as many relevant people, and as many people as possible. So. What I like to do with it is definitely see if, if it, would, it would do well in like the film festival circuit. But if anything, is definitely showing it to my family. Um, showing them that I can make a film that doesn't just like have to attack their emotional trauma as much or something like that. Like actually telling a story that's important. I love to show this film to the church that sponsored my family. They talked about how important it is to bring immigrants into this country and how much they benefit our community and our society. And so I like that they had that perspective and they only sponsored two families. My family was one of them. So it was, that was really cool.